Hello Tricksters, hope you all are doing well. In this video, you will learn to build a click extension using Catalyst. Here is our agenda. First, you will get to know about extensions in Click. Then, you will learn about Zoho Catalyst and how to create a click extension with that. Finally, you will be guided on the process of publishing an extension. What are extensions? A typical extension is an addition to an existing product which extends the product's capabilities. Click extension help in necessary customization in term of any integration or standalone implementations. An integration in Click is typically a bundle of all integration components like widgets, bots, commands, message actions, functions, schedulers, and databases. Click extensions can be built using Deluge, Zoho's own coding language, or using webhooks connected to cloud platform or by connecting with Zoho Catalyst. In this video, we shall see how to create a click extension connecting with Zoho Catalyst. Zoho Catalyst is a highly scalable serverless platform. It lets developer build and deploy applications without managing servers. It provides fundamentals like database management, cloud storage, push notification, schedulers, and more. Zoho Catalyst supports developing application using Node.js or Java. The extension we are going to build today is My Notes. This extension will have a message action to add notes and a command to pull the stored notes. We will install Catalyst CLI and learn the basic commands that are needed for deploying our extension. The prerequisites for the Catalyst CLI are Node.js and NMP. Installing Node.js would install NMP as well. We will be using Node.js version 14. First, we need to create a project in Catalyst. Let's visit catalyst.zoho.com in a new browser tab. Click on Access Zoho Catalyst and click on Create a new project and enter a name for your project. We have to create a database in Catalyst to store the nodes that we create from Click. For that, click on Data Store under Develop tab. Click on Create a new table and name the database as Nodes. We need three columns for our extension that are User ID, title and note, which we can create one by one. We shall mark all the columns as mandatory. With this, the necessary database configurations are completed. Now let's open a terminal or a command prompt in our machine. To install Catalyst CLI, enter the command npm space install space hyphen z space z catalyst hyphen CLI. Once the CLI is installed, we have to authenticate Catalyst using the command catalyst space login. Select option yes for the data center and presenter. This will open a window in your browser for authentication. Accept the prompt that is shown. After successful authentication, you can close the browser tab and switch back to the command prompt. Now let's create a local repository for our application.
enter the command catalyst space init to initialize the repository. Let's select the project we created now. We can skip this input by pressing enter key. Now we need to create a function for which we need to use the command catalyst space functions colon add. Choose integration from this list and proceed with click here. For our MyNotes extension, we need a command message action and a function. So we can deselect others, other components using space key. We will be using Java for building this extension. Now enter a name for the function. And enter class name. Once the process is completed, the Java files for the selected handlers will be created in the deployment folder. Now we can replace the default code with the MyNodes extension code. Check the video description for the download link. Once done, enter the command catalyst space deploy to push the changes to the server. Now let's see how to create an extension in Click and connect it with the function we created in Catalyst. Access click.zo.com slash developer. Click on create extension. We can name this extension as my notes. and add a short description. Set the execution type as catalyst function and we can choose the project and function we created now. We need to add a command message action and a form function. Let's name this command as my notes. And add a hint. We need to enable the suggestion handler as it's required for our use case. Similarly, we can create a message action and enable it for text messages.
Here we shall select the message object, which we will store as a node in the Catalyst database. Finally, add a function and name it as store nodes, as referred in the message action code. Choose the type as form. Now click on create extension. Now let's try this from click interface. First we need to add a note using the message action. I am selecting the more option in text message and I select the add note message action. This opens a form where we can enter the title for the note and submit. Now let's switch back to the Catalyst data store to see if the database has the node in it. Switch to data view. Yes, we can see the row added to our database. Next, to pull the list of nodes, we have to trigger the slash command. A list of nodes is displayed based on the response from the command suggestion handler. On selecting a node from the list, we get the entire node in our chat window. Once the use cases are tested, our extension is ready for deployment. We have to go to our project in Zoho Catalyst and click on deploy to production button on the top right. Agree to the necessary concerns and click on add card. This will open a payments page. Don't worry, you need not even pay a dime. If you choose the currency as INR, you will get some trial credits which would be sufficient for building the extension. Now let's enter the address. Click on add payment button to continue. Now go to Catalyst and repeat the steps again to deploy to production. Once the process is completed, now we have to publish the click extension from click.zoho.com slash developer. Click on the publish button for our extension. This will take us to the extension publish page. Over here, we can provide our extension details and add pricing details if required. I am going to mark this as free and agree to the terms and click on publish button. This will publish the extension and generate an extension installation link which can be shared while submitting your extension for review. That's how we can create a click extension using Zoho Catalyst. Follow our Facebook and YouTube for further updates. Thank you.